Hernando County deputy had to take cover in a person's garage this afternoon as a man in his 20s started firing shots at him. This all started about 2.30 in the afternoon with a 911 call about a man threatening family members with a gun. It happened on Golf Club Lane in Spring Hill. That's in the Silverthorne Country Club subdivision. And that's where we find Adrian decides Marco Villarreal live for us tonight. Marco, I know the sheriff just wrapped up a news conference a short time ago. What did he have to say about all of this? Well, good evening, Rod. Right off the bat, he talked about how fortunate it was that there was a deputy right across the street from here at a retirement community. He was filling out some paperwork when that call came in around 2.30. He was able to get across the street into the Silverthorne community. About four minutes is all it took for him to pull up and take a listen to what he discovered when he got to the home. Now, the Hernando County Sheriff shared the preliminary information from investigators. Here's what he said. That deputy arrived. He said he heard shots coming from the house. The suspect, a man in his mid-20s, then started firing from a window at the deputy as he ran to take shelter inside an open garage across the street. The suspect walked out the front door, continuing to fire at the deputy. He, the deputy, fired back, hitting that suspect several times, killing him in the front yard. And thinking that we could very easily be uh, uh, much, much more dire circumstances for the sheriff's office. It's, it's really by the grace of God that he wasn't hurt because he was at a significant disadvantage for several minutes. Now, the sheriff says this all started as a domestic dispute where there were at least five people, all family, in the home, including the suspect. Deputies found a man inside the home shot several times. He was flown to a local hospital and is expected to survive. We're waiting to get more information from investigators, but as of right now, we're told the suspect might have used a handgun and a rifle. The deputy did receive some minor injuries as he ran and tried to not get shot. So that's the latest, out, again, out here from the Silverthorne community. Rod? All right, let's back up to the beginning. Do we have any idea what started this entire domestic dispute, why this man was inside this house, according to the sheriff's office, firing shots at family members? As of right now, we don't. That's all part of the investigation. He says they have to take a look to see if drugs were involved. We do know that suspect, or he believes that suspect, lived in the home with the other family members, but something sparked a fight. Something got him so upset that he ended up shooting another family member. And just to kind of give you an idea how scary the situation was, they believe one of those other family members in the home did jump out of a window to try wow. to keep from getting shot, Rod. Yeah, very tense and uh, crazy situation out there. Marco Villarreal, live for us in Hernando County. Marco, thank you.